The Lord bless you as you watch. There is no alternative to what I'm going to read to you now. No other alternative. No matter the religion you are practicing, there is no alternative to what I am going to read to you now. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That is, God gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to come into this world and to give his life as a ransom for the forgiveness of the sins of the world. And especially for those who will believe in the provision that God has made. And of course, he sent his only begotten son. So that whosoever, anybody that believes in him, should not perish but have everlasting life. That is, if you believe in Jesus, you confess him as your Lord and Savior. You believe that he is the Son of God. You agree with the provision that God has made through him for your sins to be forgiven. The Bible says you will not perish. You will not be damned. You will not be doomed. You will not be destroyed. But you have everlasting life. Life that has no end. Life with God. Life that you are going to have unspeakable joy all through your existence with God in heaven. Look at it. But there's something I want to draw your attention to. Some people are living as if there's going to be an alternative to this. And I tell you, there's not going to be any alternative. Look at verse um, 18. The Bible says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. There's no two ways about it. This has nothing to do with religious tolerance. This has nothing to do with one nation and one people and all that. It's either you believe you will not be damned or you don't believe you'll be damned irrespective of your religion. It's not the issue of coercion. It's not the issue of forcing you. It's the issue of enlightenment and giving you the good news that there is no other way you can be saved from your sins except you believe in Jesus. No man will be able to save you. Nothing else will be able to save you. Look at Acts chapter 4 verse 12. The Bible says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Note the word must. There's no other name. There's no other person. There's no other religion. There's no other organization. No title. No position. No hierarchy of any being that have, that have existed in the past or in the present or in the future that will be able to give you salvation except Jesus. I'm surprised that in this kind of civilized war, people are still thinking that any other person or any other thing is going to save them from the coming doom that will be upon the, the nation of the hidden and people who have rejected Jesus. Thank God you are still breathing. Thank God you, are still, you still have life. And God is speaking to you. Repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Conclusively, let me read... 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. 
one God, one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. There is nobody that has ever lived in the past, in the present, in the future, that will ever live in the future from any kind of religion that will be able to be a mediator between you and God. Only Jesus. This is because he was sinless and he offered his life as a ransom for the forgiveness of our sins. Have you believed in Jesus? Have you given your heart to him? Are you still playing religion? Are you still arguing, thinking that any other thing can be a substitute? No. Only Jesus yesterday, today, and forever will be the true mediator between you and God. And the only source, true source of salvation. And especially the salvation of your own soul. Will you believe in Jesus today? Confess your sins. Talk to the Lord wherever you are. Be broken. Tell him to have mercy on you. Tell him to forgive you. Tell him to come into your heart. Tell him to reconcile you back to himself. And to help you to serve him faithfully even to the very end. The Lord bless you as you take that decision. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you.